Today we have a special episode interviewing the one and only Odysseus about his treacherous return home. Later on in the show, we will also get a chance to talk to his lovely wife, Penelope. The first guest that we will be interviewing today is Odysseus. Come on out, Odysseus, and don't get too lost on the way. Thanks, Ellie. Honored to be here. All right, let's hop right into the first question. So, Odysseus, how long have you been at sea? Well, great question. I have been at sea for about 10 years. Wow, you must have had some crazy experiences. Why don't you tell us your most difficult battle that you encountered? My story starts off with my crew and I sailing to the land of the Cyclops. While exploring the island, we see a cave full of sheep, milk, and cheese. My crew and I decide to stick around the cave and enjoy the food. While we were lounging around, the Cyclops returned home and ranged how we helped ourselves to his food. He ate two of my men. Afterwards, he held us hostage for future meals. Sounds terrifying. How'd you get yourself out of this situation? I knew I had to be creative, so I came up with a brilliant plan. I decided to get Polyphemus drunk and then tell him my name was Nobody. This way, he, when he called for help, he would say, Nobody is hurting me. After passing out of intoxication, we stabbed him in the eye with a spear, a sharp wooden spear. This blinded him, allowing us to escape. This really has shown how clever you are and how much courage you have by blinding and escaping Polyphemus. While on your journey, who motivated you to never give up? I was, I was determined to get home to see my lovely wife, Penelope, and my son, Telemachus. I bet they were very happy when you returned home. Did you ever think you would not be able to make it back to Ithaca safely? I definitely had my doubts, and at times I wanted to give up, but I kept looking forward, telling myself I had to get home. Well, it has been a pleasure talking to you. We're glad to have you back. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Have you heard about the new one and only Black Blood Latte? Well, this is the new and improved Black Box Latte. Black Box is known for Odysseus' favorite coffee and lattes. Check out this amazing latte either at www.odysseusfavorites.blackbox or go get a free sample at our location called Black Box on Windy Bag Road. And we're back. Joining us here today is Odysseus' wife, Penelope. Hi, Allie. I was so excited when you offered to interview me. What would you like to ask me first? The question I would like to ask you first is, how has your time been without Odysseus? For 20 years, I have been without my husband Odysseus, hoping that he would walk through the door at any moment. It has been difficult, but I'm glad he is back. We heard there were suitors that were in the running to take Odysseus's place as king. Is that true? Yes, the rumors are true. Though, I never chose a suitor because I never lost faith in Odysseus. How were you able to lead on the suitors for almost four years? I told all of my suitors I would marry one of them once I was finished weaving a burial shroud that I was making for Odysseus's father, Laertes. I tricked them by weaving during the day and at night I would unweave the shroud. One last question. How did Telemachus manage not having a father for all of those years? Telemachus has always kept to himself. But recently, he started to speak up more, voicing his opinion. I couldn't begin to tell you how he has managed all of these years, but I am so thankful to have had such a wonderful son by my side. All right, folks. Well, that will be all on this special edition of Wake Up, Ithaca. Please tune in tomorrow to learn more how to learn how to make your own black blood latte.